This recording will take us through Enable Geometry Reuse Between Operations. This is where we extract operation cut area. In this part we can see we have uh, lots of complex services where operations are required to specify the services that need to be machined. Currently the workflow uh, users have to take is to create a mill area and from within that mill area they can create that uh, they can select multiple geometries uh, and under that mill area they can specify the operations that want to reuse the same cut area. However, some users find that they create an operation and then decide that they want to keep the cut area but change the type of operation. Currently, they would have to reselect that geometry again, or if they would like to use a subsequent operation using the same cut area that's a different operation type, again, they would need to reselect that geometry. What we've enabled is that an operation such as this tube mill, which has a cut area defined inside this port and would like to reuse it for other operations now what you can do is go to the geometry view right mouse button on the operation under objects we can now select extract cut area this is the new capability when the user selects extract cut area a mill area geometry object is created under the same workpiece that the parent operation was under. You can also see that the mill area takes the name of the operation uh, that has extracted the mill area. If I go into the mill area you can see the cut area that has been extracted and you can then see how we can use other operations to drag and drop and reuse that mill area. The capability will enable you to extract the cut area more than once. So if you want to extract it and then extract it again and make some changes to the selection, you can do. So the second selection, I can go around and deselect a single face, deselect another face, and we can have a different selection area. You are also able to select multiple operations at the same time that have areas, uh, that have cut areas selected in them. You can right mouse button, object, extract cut area, and we will get multiple extractions. And you can also select operations that do not allow cut area, and you will notice that in these operations, the extract cut area is not available under the right mouse button object. If you select multiple operations that include operations that do have cut area and those that do not, you will see that when the extract cut area is not available. If you extract a cut area from an object that does not have cut area, such as these here, you will get a message to say that the following operations do not have a geometry defined. Again, if you do a mix of operations that do and do not have cut area selected, the extract cut area is still visible. The ones that do have cut area will be visible in the operation navigator. The ones that are not will have a message to say that there was no cut area defined. The only thing that needs to be taken uh, note of here is that this is only available in the geometry view and it is only available on operations that support the selection of cut area within the operation type.